next thing we're going to do is choose a theme for our blog. Now, by theme, I mean the way your blog actually is presented. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the theme. And this is very easy to do. All you have to do is go find a theme that you like and install it. So to change our themes, we'll just go to our site admin. And then go to Appearance and Themes. These are the themes that come pre-installed. And down here you'll see Get More Themes. So open this in a new window or in a new tab, or whichever you prefer. Go to the theme directory. Then you can dig through here until you find one you like. You can search through here as well to find one that matches the look you're going for. Okay, so I search for business, and I can pick through, pick any of these that I want. You can also do a Google search to find themes if you want to do it that way. So what I'm going to do is click on the name of the theme that I want to use. From here, I can download it and I can preview it. So let's have a preview first. Okay, so if I like that one, I can go ahead and download it here. And again, download it to directory on our computer, where it's easy to find and upload. Now we'll go back to our cPanel, then again to our file manager. And this is similar to installing plugins. What we're going to do now is go to our directory that our blog is in, go to wp-content, and then you'll see the themes directory in here, go inside themes, and then we upload our theme into the theme directory. So again, we browse for it, it's called Black Globe, upload, okay, it's uploaded, then we go back here, click on it, extract, And then delete the zip file that we left behind. Now back to our WordPress blog. Let's just refresh our themes page here. And you'll see that our theme has now appeared in here. All we have to do, click on it. And it gives us a preview here. If you like it, just activate up in the right corner here. And our theme has now been set. We visit our site now. You'll see that the theme has been set to the one we chose. Now it's time to change some settings on our blog to make it work the way we want it to work. From the dashboard, go to settings, right near the bottom here. Then in here you have your basic settings. We set some of these when we were setting the blog up in Fantastical. So from here you can change your blog title, the tagline, the WordPress address, and the blog address. And they can be in different spots. The email address, Membership. Now, if you want anyone to be able to register, click this. Otherwise, registration is turned off unless you register them from within the back end here. And the roles that the new user will adapt when they subscribe. You can set your time zone here. Down here, the date format that you want to use within your blog. And down here, the time format you want to use. The week that it starts, we'll save your changes for the general options. Now, we have writing options. There's a number of things that you can set in here to match your preferences to the way you want things to work. You have here emoticons and whether it should collect and build XHTML automatically. The default post category, you might want to set this and then you can change it during the time of post. So if most of the time you're going to be blogging on a specific subject, 
this would be a good time to set the default. So we'll set affiliate marketing. Default link category. We haven't set up our link categories yet. We'll do that in a minute. You can post via email by setting the mail server, the login name, and the password, and then you can just email your entries in and it will post them to your blog automatically to the category you set here. And then down here we have our ping list. The ping list automatically notifies update services that something has changed on your blog. In the resources document you'll find a list of entries that you can just paste in here. So just grab all these and then copy and paste them into your blog. So just paste them in here. Save our changes. We'll come back to reading after we add some content discussion. This is how different parts of your blog are handled as far as the content is concerned. These options have to do with linking links into your blog and links out of your blog. And you can set whether you're going to allow pingbacks and trackbacks. That's what these are here. So you can set these to your preference. Whether you want to allow people to post comments to your articles. If you do, you leave that checked. If you don't, uncheck it. Common author must fill out a name and email. And then you have different restrictions down here that you can use as well. One thing I do suggest is that you have a comment is held for moderation check. That way people can't go spamming your blog and get it posted right away without you seeing it. When you have everything in here set the way you want it, you can update. Now you also have comment blacklist down here. You can blacklist certain words down here and it will move the comment right to the spam folder. Like that one per line. Flew by this one here. But you can also do the same thing. But instead of moving it into the spam folder, it's going to move it into the moderation queue up here. Down here you have the ability to handle how avatars are going to work. Save changes when you're happy with that. Okay, media. This is where you set the sizes of the image files in your blog, in the way they're going to be resized. Privacy. This just allows you to set whether you want the search engines to ignore it or list it. Most of the time I expect you're going to want it to be listed, but there are cases when you may not. Okay, permalinks. This is where the search engine friendly URLs come in. What you're going to want to do is use a custom structure. And what we have in our resources document is a piece of code you put in here to set the search engine friendly URLs. This helps greatly with search engine optimization. So under search engine friendly URL, just grab this bit of code here, copy, and then paste it in, and save the changes. Now you notice that in the box down here, we have some code. At this point, you need to copy this code. You need to go back to your control panel, then to the file manager again. Then you need to find a file called .htaccess. Now, normally you'd be able to see .htaccess in here. However, it doesn't seem to show on this particular server. But if it did show on here, you could just click on it, click edit, and then add the code in. Now, since it isn't showing, what I am going to do, and what you can do, is open up using an FTP client like FileZilla. Let's open up FileZilla. And then let's open up our server here. And then let's find .htaccess. There it is. And then we'll download it into our working directory here. So we'll just do a download.
And then we'll open it up. Just do an open with. Right click, open with. And then just open it with WordPad or Notepad. And here's what's in it. So just underneath everything here, just paste in the code. Save it. And then re-upload it. We'll go back to FileZilla. And then we'll click Upload. Okay, and you can see 5770 bytes versus 393 bytes. So it did take. And that's all we have to do there. Now, normally you're not going to have to do that because usually on most servers it does show in here. Now, what that has done is it has given your URL the category and the post name within the URL instead of using this format where to have a question mark and then the post number. It actually is search engine friendly because it has the name of the category and the name of the post in it. We already set miscellaneous. Now the only other thing we have to set is reading. And the reason we haven't set reading yet is because we actually have to have content in here and make a decision. The decision we have to make is if we want to have a static home page. In other words, a page that loads as your home page every time. And then behind that, you can have your blog in, in the regular format. If you don't want to do that, then it's just like a normal blog. It shows chronologically. So this is where we would set that. But we have to have a page here first if we're going to set a home page. So let's look after the content. We'll come back to this. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Posts. And we're just going to delete this. Just check it. And then Delete. These are the posts that were made on install, so we don't need those. We're going to make our own in a minute here. Now, same with pages. Go to pages. And same thing here. Or you can actually just put your mouse over it and click delete. Okay, now I'm going to create a home page for this blog. It's very simple. Just add a page. So here's my page. Title goes here. You have a full editor down here. So we just put our article in. And of course, you can paste your articles in from somewhere else. Down at the bottom, you can select if you want to allow comments or pings. And I got these from our settings, which are the defaults for our whole blog.